Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So um, today I wanted to talk about WandaVision. So yeah, it's been, it came out on Friday. Um, there's been so much talk around it. Everybody was so excited for the finale. Disney Plus like broke down. There was all this crazy hype. And then it comes out and it feels like everyone was just like, oh, that was it. Um, including me. So let's start. Let's get into the whole show. So let's start from the beginning before the show even came out. Um, I was mildly interested in this concept. I wasn't like really excited for it. I didn't really care about Wanda and Vision as like characters. I thought they were fine, but like I didn't really care for them. Um, so, you know, when they announced, like, this idea for a show and it's gonna be set in, like, sitcom worlds, I was like, okay, that sounds interesting, but, like, whatever, I'll just watch it because I have Disney+. Plus. Um, I watched the first two episodes. I thought they were so fun. I thought they were so cute. I honestly could have watched an entire, like, show of them just, like, riffing on sitcoms. Like, that was so much fun. Um, and then, you know, you get into episode three, you start to kind of figure out, hey, what's going on here? And then, you know, four, and it just went on and on. Um, and I was just into it every single week. I was like, oh, this is so much fun. I love this. I love Wanda. I love Vision. Elizabeth Olsen and Paul Bettany are so cute together. Um, I was digging it. Um, and then episode five came. And episode five, I mean, I don't normally like like react when I'm like watching a TV show but I was screaming um when Evan Peters showed up I was like oh my god because they show the back of his head I'm like oh is it gonna be like Aaron Taylor Johnson is he gonna be like like an um you know like some thing of her imagination um and then it's Evan Peters and I'm like oh my god Evan Peters is playing Quicksilver on the show. Holy shit. So is this the one from the X-Men universe? I'm just like screaming. I'm so excited. Um, Evan Peters was like one of the best parts of like the X-Men movies. I'm not going to say the best part because James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender, Hugh Jackman, like all those, like, they were all fantastic. So I'm not going to be like, oh, he's like the best part. He is one of the best parts. So... He shows up. I'm screaming like, oh my god, this is so exciting. Next episode, you got the Malcolm in the Middle episode, which is so much fun. I used to watch Malcolm in the Middle all the time. Of all the sitcoms that they referenced, the only ones that I really used to watch were like I Love Lucy, Full House, and Malcolm in the Middle. Well, Malcolm in the Middle, I just remember that so vividly. That one was so much fun for me. Evan Peters was such a blast to watch. You could tell he was having such a fun time. Um, and yeah, I just was enjoying having him on screen. I loved the whole, like, vision, trying to figure out what's happening. I thought that was so cool. I love the little, like, homage to their, like, comic book costumes. I was like, oh my god, this is just so much fun. Um, yeah, and then I think, to me, when it started to go a little downhill was episode seven, which, like, I'm trying so hard to remember, but I'm like... I just don't remember episode seven. Um, like, I just can't remember it. Like, I'm trying so hard to go. Oh, wait, I think that's the office episode. Yeah, that one was just kind of like, eh. like, to me, episode seven and eight could have just been like one episode because I feel like seven was just like really forgettable. Um, eight was good. Eight was kind of just like, okay, let's you know, go back and explore Wanda's backstory, which I was here for. I really liked it. Um, I just, I love the little misdirection of, oh, she stole Vision, Vision's body, but it's actually not. Um, and she just created him. That whole reveal of like, she's looking at the plot of land and it says for us to grow old in. Oh, that tore my heart out. I loved it so much. Um, yeah, I thought it was great. And then, um, you get to the last episode. I was so excited. Uh, and I just was really digging this show. I mean, look, I even, I even have it, like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but, like, it's Wanda and Vision holding their babies. Um, I was just so digging it. The last episode, to me, 
was just kind of like blah. Like I wasn't angry. Like I wasn't like, oh my God. But I feel like people think that you can only dislike it if your fan theory didn't come true, which I didn't have any fan theories. I was just like, oh, I just want this show to wrap up in like a good way. But to me, I was like, I, it was, I was like, I think this needed to be 10 episodes. And apparently the director revealed it was supposed to be 10 episodes and it got cut down for like COVID and all like all this other kind of stuff. And it just really shows to me, like, it really needed 10 episodes for me to just kind of marinate, to, you know, wrap everything up in a more, like, tidy way. This, to me, just left everything, like, way too open-ended. And I know people are going to be like, well, you know, there's some things that are going to be, like, resolved later. But I feel like even things that, like, may not be resolved, like, so, like, what's going to happen with, you know the the witness was that even like a plot point that we were supposed to pay attention to i don't think that was supposed to be like oh yeah no just ignore that like i feel like that's a pretty like because after Wu goes hey i'm here because i have a witness i'm like oh i wonder who this witness is and i wonder you know what they've done and like why are they so important and like they just never bring it up again is it Monica? She's like, oh, I have like a space engineer friend. I think she says he. I remember her vividly saying he. And then a couple episodes later when she's like trying to get back in, it's like a woman. I'm like, wait, was that the person she was talking about? Because I'm 90% sure she said he. I think a lot of people did because they were like, oh, it's going to be Reed Richards and blah, 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 blah. Which I was like, that's not going to happen. Um, anyway, so let's get back to this finale. So yeah, the Wanda versus <clears throat> the Wanda versus Agatha fight, it was just kind of boring. You know, I like the whole like, oh, she tricked her and did like the ruins behind her. I was like, okay, that's kind of fun. Um, but yeah, and then just Agatha's defeated. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't care for Agatha. I know a lot of people liked her and thought Catherine Hahn was having like a good time. I agree. I thought she was a fun character. But I just don't think she added much in, like, the grand scheme of things. Um, and I was just kind of like, oh, okay, that was, like, so easy. Um, it just wasn't very, like, climactic to me. I didn't expect it to be, like, this full-blown, like, big, like, movie size battle. But I just needed a little something more. Um, Vision versus Vision was a lot of fun. I was like, how are they going to beat each other? And then Vision's like hang on. <laughs> and so they just have this like debate of like, you know, the ship of Theseus, which I thought was so much fun. I love that so much. He's like, I require, you know, elaboration. That was a lot of fun. Um, and then you get to my biggest problem with this show is there's too many side characters and they don't know what to do with them. Woo, Darcy, Monica, Quicksilver or Ralph or whatever. Like, why are they here? Why are you here other than to say a couple of lines of expository dialogue and then disappear? Like, that's boring, right? And all of these actors, like, are killing it. Like, Monica Rambo, we just got introduced to, and I'm already like, girl, you're already in my top five characters. Like, she's so much fun. I love her character. I was like, I want to see more of her. And then in the end, it's like, oh, I think she's just going to be in Captain Marvel too. And I'm like, okay, great, fine, whatever. But like, I just think the side characters were like so underused. Like you cut to Monica in Ralph's basement or man cave, whatever. And you know, the episode, I think it was seven, like Stinger, like the post credit thing. You're like, ooh, is he evil? What is he going to do to her? And then they're just hanging out in his man cave. And I'm like, oh, okay, I don't feel any... Or, yeah, I don't know. Like, I thought maybe Agatha was going to possess her. Or, I don't know, just something interesting, right? And then it's just like, eh, okay. They're just hanging out in his man cave. And he's, like, making smoothies or whatever. <laughs> God, Evan Peters was so delightful. I just... I can't even be mad. I can't even be mad. It's like... And then, yeah, she, like... She's like, how is Agatha controlling you? And she, like, takes off this necklace... And I'm like, well, did she give him super speed too? And if so, how does he know how to use it? Like, how does he, how is he not running into every single house 
in Westview. Like, can you imagine a regular person just getting super speed? <clears throat> Sorry. Like, they would just be, like, running into everyone and everything. I haven't seen, um, oh, God, I forgot the name of the show. The Amazon show. The Boys. There we go. I haven't seen The Boys, but I know there's, like, that thing where, like, the super speed character, like, runs into a person. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's what he would be doing. <laughs> that's so crazy that they're, like, oh, yeah, she just gave him super speed, too. I'm like, that's so stupid. Like, it's dumb. Like, I don't know. And just the whole reveal, and he was like, she was like, your name is Ralph Boner? And he's like, huh, Boner. And I'm like, why is he laughing at his own name? That is so weird. And then, you know, there's this, there's a whole theory that he's the witness protection um, person, and he gave himself that name. I don't know, guys. I have no idea. But, um, yeah, finale was just kind of blah, but I did like, um, Wanda and Vision's goodbye. That made me tear up. I loved it so much. Um, and then she kind of just flies away. <laughs> that was so weird. <laughs> She's just like, like Monica's like, yeah, I would have done the same thing. And then everyone in town is just like staring at her. <laughs> it was so weird. I was like, um, okay, that's, uh interesting um yeah and there's two post credit scenes one of them is um i'm guessing teasing captain marvel 2 which is like when is that movie even gonna come out like who's gonna remember this i don't know the second one is probably teasing doctor strange 2 not probably it probably it is um which i thought was interesting you know like wanda's in some cabin or whatever and then you see like the other version of her in the back and you're like oh cool okay and you hear like her son's um, so I thought that was interesting. Um, but yeah, there's just too many side characters. And I saw some tweet like, oh, this isn't the, uh, you know, Quicksilver, Doctor Strange, Mephisto show. I'm like, yeah, that's true. But like, they brought in Monica Darcy Wu and Ralph Quicksilver, whatever his name is. I didn't bring them in. So it's, I think it's kind of reasonable for people to be like, well, but you underuse these act, like characters, actors, whatever. Like, the show brought them in. I think I have every right to be like, okay, but you underuse these characters. Like, sorry. So, yeah, overall, I would give it a four out of five. Because I do think episodes one through six were just really, really good. Episodes seven and eight were like, okay, they were fine. Um, I didn't really like the whole, like... I don't think they use the whole, like, mockumentary thing, like, enough for me to be like, oh, you know. Like, I thought it, I think, I, it was good, but it wasn't just, like, I, it didn't stand out to me as, the like, everything else did. Um, and then episode eight, yeah, it was good. Um, and then, yeah, nine was just, it was just boring. That's the biggest problem. Like, I think I, like, I think I commented this under some YouTube, com like, video. I was like, the worst part of this Marvel show was when it turned into Marvel. Like, everything before episode nine felt really unique. And then it felt like for episode nine, um, they were like, okay, we gotta go back to Marvel. And it was like, and it felt like everyone was like, no, please. <laughs> please don't go back to Marvel. It's so boring. <laughs> I mean, I like Marvel, but I'm like, you guys need to do some different stuff because this is getting, this is getting repetitive. Like, we need to, we need to do something else here, you know? And, and that's what they were doing. They were doing something else and then it just turned into like a boring CGI battle. So yeah, overall four out of five. Um, I did enjoy watching the show. Um, I just think there was too many side characters that they didn't know what to do with. I don't know what they did with that whole Quicksilver thing. That was lame, guys. That was just lame. I hate, I'm like, oh, you're just mad that your theory didn't pan out. Yeah, I'm really sorry that Evan Peters, who plays Quicksilver, shows up on this show, which is leading up to a movie called In the Multiverse of Madness, who is in this show playing Quicksilver didn't turn out to be Quicksilver. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Th Shut up, like, come on. It'd be like if we were watching the Obi-Wan show and Hayden Christensen showed up and he was a Jedi, but it turns out his name's like Brian Boob and he did nothing. We'd just be like, what the hell? Like, Star Wars fans would burn down the internet. Like, get out of here with that BS. So, anyway. 
so thanks for watching this review guys um next week i don't know what i'll talk about i just finished the fall i'm re-watching hannibal um i think i'm gonna do a hannibal review why not okay bye